Good morning, everyone. So I'm at the Red Roof Inn in Marion, Virginia, and today is actually my second zero. I was only intending on taking one zero in Marion, but I ended up taking two, and I'll get a little bit more into that in just a second. It's also like seven in the morning, so I'm not fully awake yet, so I definitely apologize for that. But I figured today could be a good time to talk about a few things, answer some common questions that I've seen, and then also share some big changes and updates that's going on with my hike right now. So some of the biggest questions I've kind of had from you all about my hike has involved food and what I eat on a typical day. I just resupplied and honestly I have way too much food so I figured right now would be a good time to show you guys what I would typically eat in a day. But I'm not going to go over my full resupply because like I said my food bag is probably weighing almost 10 pounds right now so that would take forever. But yeah let me show you guys kind of what a typical day for me looks like and um, I am not a nutritionist. I don't know what I'm doing. I basically eat the food that I like and I want to eat during the day. I'm definitely not saying that this is what you should eat or that I make the best food choices. So with that being said, let me show you guys. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with what I would typically eat for breakfast. Um, so I have this heart healthy nut mix. This is around 200 calories. Um, super good. Also some mini donuts, um, these are around 190 calories, and then I typically like to make some coffee, and I add some coffee creamer. One of my biggest go-tos for lunch recently has been these Green Belly Meal To Go's. These are absolutely delicious, and they have 665 calories in them. I'm not typically the type of person who likes to eat like granola bars, but these Green Belly Meals To Go remind me more of a Rice Krispie Treat. They taste really good, but it's honestly like the texture for me personally that I really like about them. And actually, I'll open this one up and show you guys real quick. I'm gonna eat it in the next couple of days, so yeah. They also come in a resealable pouch, so if you don't wanna eat the whole thing in one sitting, you don't have to. And also, I will say this one um, is a little bit squished because it's been in my backpack, but yeah. This is basically what it looks like, and like I said, it is squished. Um, if this one in particular is peanut and apricot, but they do have a bunch of different flavors. I have not tried this particular flavor yet, but I do think my favorite flavor so far is the mango and cashew, I believe it's called. But yeah, these are great. Highly recommend them. Um, you can order them online. I'll leave a link to their website down below. And I also believe you can find them in Outfitters along the trail, so that's awesome. So to go along with the green belly meal for lunch, I also really like this yellowfin tuna in extra virgin olive oil. A lot of times tuna packets are pretty heavy and they don't come with that many calories, but I like the ones in olive oil because they do have 180 calories, so it makes it a little bit more worth the wait. So one of my go-to dinners recently has been these Nor taco rice sides along with some chicken and then throw a little bit of Taco Bell hot sauce in there and it is delicious. This meal tastes really good and one of my favorite things about it is that you can cook the meal in this bag itself. So instead of getting your pot dirty, you can actually dump your boiling water directly in the bag and it cooks up really well. So these are kind of like my main meals that I eat in a day. And then besides that, I mainly just eat snacks. So I got some Cheez-Its, um, a homestyle Rice Krispie treat, some more of the Healthy Heart Nut Mix, some cheese crackers, go-go squeezes, which are heavy, but are one of my favorite things, some M&Ms, and then also some Airheads. All right, so I think that's it for my food. Um, now I'm gonna share my next big update. I did end up buying a new backpack. So many of you know I've been using the Gossamer Gear Mariposa, but the hip belt has been too big on me for probably almost a month now. And that hip belt being too big was like really causing a lot of rubbing and pain on my shoulders. I don't think I showed you guys at all, but at one point my shoulders were like on both sides like broken out. So that being said, yesterday I emailed Gossamer Gear and I asked them when their small hip belt was going to be back in stock and they told me it probably wasn't going to be until August. So I'm hoping to finish my hike in August so that probably wasn't going to work out for me. Like my stuff in my backpack really isn't that heavy but I don't think I could deal with the weight on my shoulders for that long. So yesterday I decided to stop by Marion Outdoors and I did end up buying a new backpack. If you plan on hiking the Appalachian Trail, um, make sure you set aside some extra money for gear changes because as most of you probably know, a new backpack is pretty expensive. This new backpack costs around $300, but for something that I'm going to 
like use and carry for the next like four months totally worth it but anyways let me grab the bag and show you guys okay kind of hunched over really weird to be in the camera um but this is the waymark gear through 40 liter backpack and yes i did say 40 liter all of my stuff fits in a 40 liter backpack which makes me so excited and that's even with the crazy ridiculous like eight pounds of food that i have right now so that's awesome so here's the backpack i really love the color i think it's super cute i don't have all of my stuff in it right now so um you can probably tell but it's a pretty simple backpack it's just got one big main compartment um, a roll top, which I really like and miss having a lot. And then it also has a Y strap that goes over the top. So whenever my tent is sopping wet in the morning, um, or I just don't want to carry my fleece anymore, I can like strap it to the top. So that's another thing I really like. It does have a pretty stretchy mesh compartment. It's, I would say it's not nearly as stretchy as the Gossamer gear bag. And that's going to be an adjustment for me because I like to stick a lot of stuff back here, but I think this is still going to work out pretty good. And another thing that I love is that the material on this is like really strong and pretty thick. This bag is supposed to be water resistant, so that's something that's really nice. Um, the Gossamer Gear bag was not water resistant whatsoever. And yeah, I'll flip it over so you guys can see the back. Here's the back of it. This pack actually does have a frame, so it does have metal in the bag. Um, it also has a little bit of foam padding back here. It is really comfortable, actually. It has load lifters, so I can get the weight off of my shoulder. And then I did pay for an extra hip belt pocket just because I like the convenience, but here's my hip belt pocket that has all my little essentials in it. And then this is gonna be my one for snacks, which I'm about to load these snacks up in there in just a minute. And then on the sides, it has two very large water bottle holders show you guys one on this side so yeah that is basically the bag i love the gossamer gear bag and i'm really excited to use it in the future um, but i'm also really excited to try out this bag the gossamer gear bag was a little bit too big for my stuff so i believe it was a 60 liter and even with a ton of food i had to cinch the bag all the way down so it was definitely going to be too big during the summer whereas this bag fits my winter gear and then when i switch to summer stuff it's probably going to be perfect so yeah i'm very excited about that um i'll continue updating you guys on how this bag is feeling i think it's very comfortable and i can't wait to use it i also want to give a huge shout out to marion outdoors they let me go in their store and I tried on bags for probably two or three hours. Literally, I had stuff everywhere. So I took my backpack, I took my stuff out of it and put it in basically every backpack they had there. And all of their backpacks were filled with uh, just like plastic and other random things so that you could see what it looked like when it wasn't just like flat. So between my backpack and my stuff and then all of the like plastic and stuff coming out of these other backpacks, and like the five or six backpacks that I was deciding between, there was just, yeah, there was stuff everywhere. He was super patient with me, super helpful. I definitely recommend stopping in there and checking them out if you're coming through Marion. All right, so last but not least is one of the biggest reasons why I decided to take two zeros instead of one. And actually getting my new backpack was part of the reason because that took up a lot of time. But some of you may remember that when I got to Black Bear Resort, um, maybe like a week or so ago, I'm not entirely sure. But I think in that video I mentioned that I had found like a pretty big lump on my heel. Well, since then it's started hurting um, on the very bottom of my heel and then also my Achilles as well. And I will insert a picture really quick to show you guys what that looked like yesterday. So as you all can see, it doesn't look great um, and I would be lying if I said that I wasn't concerned about it. Today I'm going to go to Walmart. Um, I'm going to get some KT tape. I'm going to tape it up. I am not an expert in it. I've actually never done it before, but I've watched some YouTube videos and I'm going to try it and see if it helps. I'm not sure if it will or not. And I'm also going to ice it and take some ibuprofen and just rest. If it doesn't seem to be better after I hike out, I'm actually not quite to Marion yet on the trail. I'm like 20 miles before it. And if it's still hurting, if it's getting worse, then I'm probably gonna come back into Marion on their free shuttle and I'm probably going to 
either try to make an appointment with the podiatrist that is in Marion or I'm just going to go to urgent care and probably get it x-rayed. So yeah, it's a bit concerning. I'm hoping that it's just something that um, I can manage while I'm hiking. I hope it doesn't get worse. I hope nothing is broken. I don't think it is. I think it's probably fine. I think my biggest fear is just like letting it get out of hand and letting it get to the point where it's not okay. So yeah, I'm gonna baby it. Um, that's pretty much all I can do right now. I'm trying not to stress too much about it, but I am a little bit worried. Yeah, so on that note, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I um, just kind of wanted to take a second to update you guys on what's been going on, share with you all my food, my new backpack, and talk a little bit about what's going on with my Achilles and my heel. So today I'm just going to be resting. I'm not going to be doing any more filming, but I will see you guys when I get back on trail tomorrow.